Hi friends and welcome to episode 12 of The Good Sect. I'm Icon and today it's Mini Universe Day. I gotta say, 100 days in and building the Mini Universe is a lot quicker than the last time I was in. I'm pretty sure that you can do it a lot faster than I'm doing here, but I don't want to talk bad about this. I'm quite happy about my progress here. So the other thing we want to do today is help Ruzong to his breakthrough, because it's about time. Sadly, we are not really able to bring him to a tier 1 golden core. I mean, there are methods of manual chi bursting and things like that, but personally, I am too, too lazy to do that. If anybody wants to know what, uh, what that means, manual chi bursting is a process where you put down more items on pedestals into a room and remove them in the right way from the, these pedestals, then the excess chi on the, of these items seeps into the room and makes the uh, breakthrough or whatever for a half a day a lot more potent because there's way more chi unbound in that room. So I think that's the easiest way to explain it. But personally, I I don't like the method. I just. I just can say I don't like this method uh, because it's very very finicky and well I still have to try it out on my by myself and therefore I don't want to uh, do it now for the first cultivator maybe we will experiment with that alongside of the series because that's one of the things I haven't done yet in my time of amazing cultivation simulator but, you know, one thing at a time. For today, we're going to build the mini-universe. So, we're going to need fire essence bars and holy stone blocks. Okay, these are the things we're lacking still. So, the order here has been set. We only need to put down this working order. It really hurts me to transform the holy stone into holy stone blocks, but that's just what we gotta do. So my question is now only where will we put that mini universe down? I think hmm, it would be cool to have it in the vicinity of the Yin Yang Steely, but also pretty cool to have it in the center of the cultivation chambers. I think I'm going to roll with that. Okay, so something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's looking fine. All right. To everybody who has no clue how these things work, the uh, wait a sec, Fuyui. We're just going to welcome you into the sect. Um, the mini universe will store every mundane item and just absorb it via teleportation. But what's even better, it even transports these mundane items back to the people that need it. So basically, when somebody here is standing at the stoneworks and working on it, on let's say some some brownstone blocks, then the mini universe will transport the necessary items to this workbench. So people will stop to haul unnecessary things. This results in an insane power up of your work speed in general, because you know, lots of hauling issues are no longer a thing then. I really like that. Oh, what wants the dog do? Purple Ganoderma. Wait a sec. Purple Ganoderma? Since when does it uh, is it called Purple Ganoderma? Yeah, it's okay. Ganoderma is not that rare, and since the dog is now in the stage where he's allowed to eat different things, where he's now a mature dog, let's see, he needs. Uh, Cooked food for protection, fruit for intelligence, mushroom for chi growth. Okay, so it seems to me like we could use a mushroomery, or just buy some mushrooms. Mm. Dang, it's a little bit of an issue. Let's see. Unsuitable fertility. I think that was uh, the polar knight did uh, reduce the fertility. Yeah, lowers all soils fertility to poor while in effect. So we don't need to worry about that too much. Now, breakthroughing mental state is at its at its uh, its best. I think. I think there's not much more possible for him, and 
Wait a sec. Metal is... with a bonus at night. So polar night makes 24 hours a day night, it seems. Cool. Now let's see what uh, what kind of medicines we can gobble in. The chi regen pill is definitely something we can use and will use. Let's see, he has 21k inspiration left. Maybe there's anything we can do about that. I just want to see if there's anything we can build on now. Increase. I mean, there are skills, but we don't have the necessary inspiration. Is there any other place where we can go to absorb even larger portion of belief? I highly doubt it, but I want to check it out before. This place has even minus. 16k. Well, it's not really that much. I mean, it, it, it would be kind of worth it, but... It's not that important. A tier 2 golden core for the first gen is good enough to get into the primordial spirit stage. It will be good enough to acquire one or two soul uh, sub-spirits. And after that we're just going to rebirth anyways. So I'm not too worried about that. Just checking out if there are uh, any... Well, he's already at 140% match now. It's not really anything we can do except for other medicines, let's see. Sadly, my methods are limited. We can eat some spirit stone, though. That will help, too. Sounds weird, but yes, you can eat spirit stones. It also increases the, uh, the chi affinity for a while afterwards. Let's say spirit crystals increase significantly. So we're going to eat one of those as well. Ah, oh, he's exploding now. By an overflow of chi. Let's see, we're going to need spirit powder. And maybe I have to load that again. I'm not sure. So he's able to walk again. I'm not sure if the positive effect is still there now. Well, certainly doesn't look like it does. So, Why is it now worse than before? I thought we were at a three, a two quality now. Okay, let's uh, load that. Obviously, I did a mistake with that. The thing is, if they have, if if you put too much tree in a person, it just goes poof, and uh, the effects are detrimental. That's just what we saw there, so let's uh, quickly do these things we did before. I mean, it's just a few, a few clicks there. And let's see. So for some odd reason, it is now a two quality. So we're going to stick with the Chi Regen pill, though, because that worked out quite nicely. And in the background, we're going to prepare the uh, construction of the mini universe there. So these things didn't uh, kill him. That's good. We're still at a tier two quality. Let's see, is there anything else we can do? Just want to maximize my options here. Pretty sure there's still stuff I'm not seeing right now. Let's see, is there anything medicinal we can still eat? Oh, these things are all quite... Yeah, well, whatever. We're just going to be uh, happy with a tier 2 golden core. Like I said, it's not bad at all. 
It's not like, really not bad at all. Better results are easily acquirable when you just go for the higher quality or the advanced laws. And that's going to be what we're uh, aiming for next. So there's a uh, miracle called deriv derivative calculation. And it can spawn you some events that yield um, advanced laws. And that's where we're headed, headed to. So... Mm -hmm. Come on! Ooh, very, very close at the bottom of tier two. <laughs> I was just like, mm -hmm. is that even tier two? But that's okay. I don't mind at all. Welcome, Ruzong. You're now the boss. All right. It gnaws a little bit on me that I got the feeling that I would have been able to, to, to do a tier 1 if I really tried harder than that. But, you know. This is uh, a thing about this game where I feel like you can make yourself very, very unhappy by trying too hard. So i rather not do that. Now, let's just wait for the wonderful mini universe to be done we're lacking ice essence bars wait a sec oh yeah of course all the ice essence bars we got are residing on pedestals duh <laughs> so we're going to need one more of those of course of course now that's been all dealt with wonderful Okay. So tomorrow we're going to hire new people for building of new agencies. That's something we could have done already a lot more, but I don't mind. There's so many things you can do at once in this game. A fox has appeared nearby. Let's adopt him. That's the uh, alternative pet you can you can have for your sect. Charity for a city of abundance. So they saw two young gentlemen were fighting over a woman. So the last time I tried it with charisma, but if I remember correctly, this these guys were basically slave hunters, and they are not really. Their motives aren't really uh, good. So, what's wrong with you? Frostbite. Well... We're going to send her to a uh, agency, because... Right now, I don't uh, have the... Patience to... Indulge a new cultivator. And we're going to uh, use her power here to send to establish new agencies because that's uh, basically something we really need as well. Okay then. Now, Ruzong is at home and G is at home. The next thing we need is uh, allocating a lot of lifespan and spamming those derivative calculations. One thing is important, derivative calculation requires a pretty high intelligence and luck value. These are the uh, main stats that determine if you, are, if you are successful or not. Here we go. And relying on his prowess would not be enough to intimidate them now. Does that mean this was the wrong choice, or does that mean he's just not uh, good enough at it? Sometimes I really got trouble in, uh, in understanding these uh, 
these things. So derivative calculation costs you 10 years of your lifetime. And has the chance to create an event for you. But you are actually... The only interesting event that uh, this uh, method spawns is actually the uh, Heavenly Mandate. Traces of an ancient book at Snake Tangle Village. Yeah, whatever. We're going to get, go for that for once. Maybe it's going to be a... Ah, no. The ancient book thingies are just... single use manuals you can use them for some they, they can be really useful but most of the time they are not not that uh exciting to put it into friendly words most of the time i felt like they were pretty useless to be quite honest so now what time of day is it ah yeah midday so we're going to summon our new recruits and I want to see who's charismatic and intelligent at the same time. Well, still gonna recruit a few of those two and three new abbots. Don't want to go for more here. After all, we need to pay for the establishment of these places. And I don't have the necessary wood right now, but that's not really an issue in this biome. Got so many options of chopping wood here, I don't see any problem here whatsoever. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, we had life lengthening stuff here already. Here, life spring. This yields 99 years of lifetime, so we can do a few more of those calculations. We need tools for chopping, okay. And now the hunt for items which lengthen your lifetime begins, because basically well, let's see, maybe we can send G to that place quite, uh, more often. Because basically this is uh, the most valuable thing we can acquire for now. Let's see if there are better methods of lengthening our life available. I think now it's also time to consider the uh, auction more and more. I think I could have went for it way more early, but one thing at a time. This game is really overwhelming if you uh, if you don't really know what you're doing. And I'm pretty far away from really knowing what I'm doing, you know. So, we have befriended all the good sects in the world. Only the evil ones are... ...not friends now. But a lot of them are not even willing anymore to take us as friends, so... What a shame. Now let's see what do we can do. How quickly do we cultivate here? Not really. <laughs> okay, so I got two pieces of ochre essence. Let's see, is there more? No, there's not. Yay, we got more life spring. Nice. So we're awaiting builders. Ah, our new recruits are here. Gao Muning, Ji Yong, and Bao Yalu. Okay. We got the necessary wood for them as well. The thing is, the mini universe really needs a lot of work time sacred sanctuary 
Kao Munin is also already with us. So, Great Desert. Trying to establish my agencies now first and foremost at these flag um, places because these are the ones where you can gather resources quite freely. Chi Yong was the person. There we go. Now that I see how much money I got, I could have even uh, slapped 1,000 spirit stones into their pockets without <laughs> without a second thought. So, wait a sec. Fang Shun is still adventuring to Mount Nalumbo, even though there's nothing to be discovered there anymore. That's not good. That's completely unnecessary. As you see here, the green bar shows how far they are, and... While all the ma materials are present, it still takes a pretty long time. Okay, we're finding the life springs we're looking for. Awesome. So, Fang Shun was pretty bad with the uh, law, wasn't he? That's, But he's quite intelligent and lucky. Perfect. Exactly the kind of person where we, we want to roll more derivative uh, calculations with. go. Let's feed some life spring in him as soon as I find it. And with the next trader I'm going to so significantly diminish. With the next trader I want to go for the uh, auction scroll. And the auction is a... Wait a sec, attacking was not that hotkey. The auction is a pretty good uh, source for life-lengthening medicines. Of course, so is uh, intersect trade, but... You know, there are lots of methods of doing this. There's a bunch of piggies attacking us. one more to take down. There we go. Bang. That's the end of the piggy porks. Alright, enhancing our followers and we found Lucian Village. Is that the end of discoveries here? No. Lucian Village features nothing too special, but we probably want to adventure there anyways, so let's send Ruzong over there. No, not the robbing event. The robbing event is the most boring one. It's not a... Uh, Yielding any extra followers, sadly. <laughs> okay, what I wanted to do, he wants to eat Purity Leaf, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you do you. Enjoy the mortal realm, let's leave the realms uh, for themselves. So, Life Spring is not really that powerful, honestly. And I think G can stay home for now. But we can spam a few calculations here, nevertheless. Mandate! Wonderful. Okay, perfect. So, with the Mandate manifestation, we can possibly, with some luck, grab ourselves some advanced law. Boom. Let's see which one it'll be. But first, let me explore Mount Lucian, uh, Lucian Village. Alright. I totally forgot that the uh, mini-universe was 
taking that long to be built, honestly. Let's see, we're at 255 battle power. Man, that's low. <laughs> Well, that's uh, that doesn't matter too much. Now let's check out what we can grab from here. Spoiled food. Mmm. A sheet music. Well, no. Dad, a egg, okay. A go board. Here's jade and jade blocks. Stoneworks. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else exciting here. I highly doubt it somehow, but. I, grew, I made it a custom or a habit of mine now to explore most outside areas a little bit more thoroughly because, you know, there are so many things which you can just acquire by exploring that it's very useful to just check it out. You see, there's the mountain and there's quite a lot of jade essence. I want those. can sell jade essence for quite a nice amount of money. And therefore I'm quite interested. And probably that's not all. Mm, looks like that's all though. Too bad. I'm not too much interested in gathering lots and lots of jade blocks here honestly. Because we... well okay. It, it seems to be the next best thing honestly. Yeah let's do that. Because obviously this place doesn't really yield much more than that. So we're going to pick up the regular, the uh, big jade chunks and not the blocks. Because the blocks are smaller. Basically one of these chunks is four blocks. So we're coming home with a lot of jade. Why not? And to anybody who's uh, thinking that this is not according to the good sect, I feel like as long as they are not, the people in that village are not considering it as a uh, as a theft. It's not an evil deed. Thunder spiritualist. I don't know how you guys see that, but I personally think if they are, they don't got a problem with that. I don't got a problem with that basically. Okay, now we got that done. Let's check out... Where was my head again? Ah, yeah, the mandate. So, the thing with the mandate is you don't really know who's the best person to go there. I'm going to show you. G and Feng Shun are now at home, or we're going to. The turtle has died. Couldn't care less, honestly. Heavy snow. It's minus 50 degree here. Man, that's cold. I hope nobody's freezing to death today. So luckily I made my rooms a little bit uh, warmer here. Possibly will come very will be very very useful. So it's the emotion severing law. You can either take it by force, but you will need primordial spirit and luck, or you are going to inspect it and take a roll if you're allowed to learn it. The good news about that you can do that several times. And the bad news, it's a random roll according to the stats of the character. Basically, the better your character is fitting to that law, the higher your chances to acquire that law. 
And since I don't really have anybody who's fitting to that law, I can't do really much. Also, Wild South is not going to, change, to choose any policy because there's a trick. If you don't have enough wheat to satisfy the needs of all your agencies, you can just leave them empty. Empty policy, basically. They still yield the materials, but they are not going to give you followers or something like that. So. Let's see if we're lucky with those. Emotion severing law was a heavy charisma based law, if I remember correctly. Now, I really want to replace that with a dark steel cushion. Do I have dark steel? Yeah, we got some dark steel ore. Probably one more than that, but one thing at a time. Ideally, I would take a Lumina core uh, caution, but you know. So, she didn't learn anything. And he didn't learn anything either. We're just going to fling cultivators now at that event and just. You know, there's uh, only so and so high chance of succeeding here, but at the same time, I really want to take every attempt that I can before the event runs out. I'm not entirely sure if it. Uh... Wait a sec. If there's really a a fair roll, if you get my idea. We're back city uh, here. Or if I simply don't have a chance whatsoever because the stats are just too bad. That's something I really don't know. But we're, we're going to try nevertheless. You know. So with the dark steel available, we're just going to put down a dark steel cushion. Because I hope that's uh, going to be a lot more powerful than the other one. Alright, let's take two more rolls on the uh, mandate and then we're going to see to an end for today's episode. Pretty sure I have no chance on that, but I want to try as hard as I can. Choose policy, Great Desert. Well, Great Desert can go for Spirit Stone Mines, which is quite cool. And the Great Snowland can go for Spirit Stone Mines as well. And the Wild South is already... Okay. There we go. Oh, there's a... Uh... <sighs> so Charisma wasn't the right thing. Let's try Social. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the wrong choice too, but... It's, uh... Ooh, there's beasts in town. It's even a golden core one. Now things are going to be interesting. Alright, we got those, and Fang Shun has a really measly uh, fighting power, but nevertheless we're going to, to use that. So that was the right one. Intelligence. Uh, social, okay. Got it. I'll remember that. So I also want to read call all my disciples because this is a pretty nasty fight and so far I don't see myself in any good position to win that. Without the uh, combined power of our uh, of all our cultivators here. So there we go. 
Come on, Ruzong. You're not supposed to have fun. You're supposed to attack. And so is G. Let's see. We're taking down the Golden Core thing already. But uh, somehow it's now focusing on somebody else. Somebody, somehow it uh, went on Ruzong, but we don't want that. Alright, there we go. My dog is already uh, half dead, you know, so. There we go. But now the whole sect should be in combat. Except for Ruzong. Alright. Ugh, that monster is. Uh, it's running away. Okay, I'll let it run away. I don't mind at all. Okay, what a finale. I thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to continue here next episode. We took down our first Golden Core Beast. Good stuff. And hopefully we will acquire new laws with the next uh, coming episodes. So, leave a comment down below. Leave a thumbs up to that series to make it more visible. Or just give me a subscription on the channel. I'd be more than grateful for that. I'll be also explaining a little bit more about the universe, mini universe next episode. And yeah, hope you had a great time. Stay safe and see you soon. Bye bye.